And a very big shout out to the channel partner Helium Mobile for allowing me to do this for you guys. And for those interested in signing up for their $20 a month unlimited talk, text, and data plan, you definitely can try them out for a month free just using my promo code here. Just type that in. It'll get you your first month free. And with Helium Mobile, a little bit of a different experience with them as you can also earn crypto just by mapping out their services, which you could use towards getting a new device, paying your bill, or just cash in your pocket. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so... um. You guys have seen multiple videos I've uploaded in the last week, week and a half. And I've, you know, been installing Evolution X, which is a custom ROM on most of my Pixel devices, at least the ones that are able to support it. But there was one reason why that I said that that has become like, you know, my new favorite custom ROM. And it was specifically because of this device right here. This is the Google Pixel 6. And this was the last of my Pixel devices that I wanted to flash. Saved it basically to do a video showing you guys how to flash the ROM, which is already up on the channel. So if you want to check that video out, go ahead and check it out afterwards. But um, I'm not going to make this video too long, but, you know, the ROM I specifically chose for this. And, you know, it, it opened up a lot of abilities of the Google Pixel 6 that a lot of us were just kind of like, why doesn't it have this? You know, like when the Pixel 7 came out, um, it ended up having a feature that a lot of us were kind of like, why didn't they bring this, you know? Um, that one big thing is the face unlock. Now with the Pixel 4 and 4XL, we kind of got spoiled to that. You know, Google completely removed any other biometric security and went strictly dependent on face unlock. Since then, it really hasn't been a Pixel device that has done that. And even though both the Pixel 7 and the 7a come close, it's not exactly the same as what the Pixel 4 XL and the 4 offer. And I won't say that the Pixel 6 offers the same thing. Comes close to it. It's pretty much similar to what you get on the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7a. And that is the face unlock with the Pixel 6. And we know that the 6 and the 6 Pro are able to do it. They were testing it out, but I guess there was some issue going on with the battery and Google decided just to not um, update the feature onto the Pixel 6 with the Pixel Drop. And so it just came straight to the 7 and then the 7a. And I'm sure it's on the 8 and the 8 Pro. So Pixel 6 now has it with Evolution X. And it's as simple as that. If my eyes close, it does not unlock until my eyes are open. <laughs> And that's, that's pretty cool to have on this device because those that are real big fans of the Pixel 6 really wanted this. And um, yeah, they just didn't end up getting it. So now with this custom ROM, Evolution X, you're able to have it. You're able to have face unlock. You're able to use it. It works just fine. Um, I haven't tricked either one of my devices that have Evolution X. I haven't been able to trick it with a two-dimensional picture to have it unlock. Um, it just, you know, works decent with your eyes closed, can't get it open. So, you know, that's a good feature to have. On top of that, again, going back to the customizations of, you know, the uh, custom ROM in itself, just kind of designing it the way that you want it to look and all those really nifty, cool things. I mean, even changing the... Uh, you know, quick settings from the, the pill shape to just circles. You know, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. It's a nice touch. You know, I definitely have to say really, really big shout out to the members of the uh, Evolution X team. You guys did a fantastic job and have brought like a huge, huge thing to the Pixel 6 that I think a lot of us tech enthusiasts and a lot of us Pixel fans really wanted for the Pixel 6. And it works great, works amazing. Um, I'll have an update as far as what it does for the performance, as far as battery life, performance of the, you know, the device itself with this custom ROM on it. And if it uh, does anything to change up the photos, how photos were taken with the stock ROM and everything, some people just complained that it seemed a little bit too unrealistic. So we're going to see if those things are corrected 
Uh, but I just wanted to kind of tell you guys the big, big update for the Pixel 6 that I like about this custom ROM being flashed on there. So, um, yeah, stay tuned to a follow-up video probably next week. I'll let you guys know all the good details about it. But until then, thanks for checking out this video.